Welcome to a new tutorial on GDevelop. For those that are not regular watchers of our tutorials, we have a long run series on building a Contra like game with GDevelop. And when facing some difficulties with a specific part of the engine, we usually complement it with a focused tutorial. In this case, we are approaching how you can change or reskin assets in a game made with Develop. Sprites and animations, collisions, and some other elements could give you some problems when skinning a game. Let's dive into D-Develop. Let's start by creating a new game from the platformer template. Set the name and then the path where you want to save the game, and click Create Project to continue. Wait a minute while Develop is downloading the resources and setting up the structure of the game archive system. Once done, you can see the scene view opened on the traditional platformer game. Let's zoom into the character that we will want to change for another one and let's quickly run the game to see it in action. Double click on the player, either on the scenes view or in the objects pane on the right side of the screen. The object window is open with all the animations and sprites associated with the player. Let's modify the idle. Click on the Add button in the free slot. And in the Explorer window, select the frames of the new idle animation. The link to the game character that we will be using is in the description. You can see that there is some difference in the dimensions of the new sprites compared with the original ones. But no worries we will address it. Click on the old idle frame to select it, and then right click on it, and, choose the delete option. Close the player animation window and let's see how it looks. We would have two options now, either resize the sprite up, or size down the collision box displayed in red. In this case, as we want to show the impact of both, let's apply both. Let's continue replacing the animations for the player. Let's set the loop option for the idle and let's decrease the time for the frames to 4 or 5 milliseconds. Once all the animations are replaced, let's see how it looks. We can see that we can play the game with the new sprites without any problems. But, a closer look at the character would be great. So, let's add some zoom to the camera. Let's go to the events view, and in the camera following group, 
let's copy the action and replace it with the actions associated with changing the Y position of the camera. Then add a new action to change the zoom. Let's set the zoom to 2. Let's run the game. And we are zoomed in on the character. But now we can see that as we have resized the character, the sprite is somewhat blurred and not crispy and a pixel art graphic should look like. This is because, when importing resources, GDevelop automatically smooths them out. Click on the game setting icon on the top menu. Then click on the resources option. On the right pane, with the list of graphic resources, scroll down until you find the sprites associated with our new character. Click on the first sprite. You can see, on the left that the checkbox smooth the image is enabled. Uncheck it for all the sprites that we have just imported. Let's run the game. And we can see that the character is now correctly displayed with clear edges. We hope that you have liked this video. If it has been the case, consider subscribing, giving a like, and clicking on the notification button. If you have any questions, problems, or comments, don't hesitate in putting a comment and we will answer as fast as we could in the comments or by creating a video specific to your problem. See you in the next video game developers.